if you saw my Instagram or my Twitter, you know what my adventure was. Good afternoon, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm doing all right. It's doing hot right now. It's hot outside. So I just finished work. Yay! It was kind of long, but of course got to pet some dogs, sold some food, that fun jazz. And now I have just finished at the dollar store. I went and got me some caffeine for the road. And I also got a couple of items, which is the second hint of what I'm going to be doing tonight. I got scentless body wash and A and D ointment. They didn't have Aquaphor, which is what I prefer, but I mean, A and D works fine too. So, and I mean, for $4, I can't complain at all. Um, but now I'm about to hit the road and head off to Atlanta. So just wanted to check in with you guys and I'll check back in with you later. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? I'm tired. I'm sorry, I didn't vlog anymore yesterday because we were pretty busy. So, if you saw my Instagram or my Twitter, you know what my adventure was. I got a tattoo. It's my third one. Um, it is for Emerald. And I will show you the tattoo whenever I get home. Because, of course, it's on my ankle. Um, so, awesome. And then, Caitlin and I went with her friend Sherry. We went shopping. Came home and just chilled out at home. And it was a great time. I'm pretty happy about it. Now I am back home, sort of. I stopped to get breakfast, and th then I just finished at Walmart. I had to get some Aquaphor for my tattoo. And now I'm on my way home, let dogs out, get some stuff done. And then I have to pick up my brother from camp today. So I've got a kind of busy day ahead of me. So just want to check in, tell you guys good morning. I'll check back in with you later. Hey, guys. So... Right now, I'm at the doctor's office because I don't know if you could tell, but I've got this thigh. I had, it, like, if you guys have seen my vlogs, you've seen where earlier in the year I had a thigh and it got really swollen. Well, apparently, this is the same one. Apparently, it never went away and it's just gotten really red and gross, so I'm going to go get it checked out. And the medication they gave me for it didn't help, so I'm going to see what to do about that. Um, so, what did I do at home? I napped. Yeah, that's always something. I got my tattoo cleaned up. I um, unpacked. Um, worked on washing sheets. I just picked up my brother from Camp Zoo Ability. He said it was pretty fun. Just dropped him off and I'm at the doctor. So we're about to see what happens. Um, and then when I get home, I'm going to try to search for an endocrinologist. So I can figure out what the heck is going on with this. Since apparently this doctor can't help me with that. So... Yeah, that's what's going on right now. Hey guys, there's Sassy Girl. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Are you glad I'm home? Yeah. Heard your boys downstairs, so it's just us girls. Yeah. Well, you know what we need to do, Sassy? We need to show the internet my new tattoo. Yeah. You've not seen it either, but you probably wouldn't see it anyway. So, let me show you my tattoo that I just got freshly washed and cleaned. There it is! So it's not exactly the design that I originally thought of, but I liked where the artist was going with it. The, like, if you guys know the story behind how MRL got his name, um, basically, I'll repeat the story later, but in a nutshell, he would have been named Emerald if he was a girl. And, um, because he was my gemstone dog. Since I was searching for a service dog for about two years before I got him. And he was like a gemstone. Like, it's a lucky find. So, that's why that's on there. And so far, I've gotten some great reactions with it. I met this awesome guy who works at a sex shop. Very interesting. And he asked about it. And I got to teach him all about service dogs and... ESAs and therapy dogs and what my dog is made done, trained to do and he was so fascinated he loved it and I think that's a great like education opportunity 
since some people don't understand the differences. So now it could be like, oh, what's your tattoo for? Oh, it's for my service dog. What? So I'm using it as an opportunity to learn. Oh, but now I'm really tired. Oh, and as for this thing, it actually has become what's called a chalet. I think it's called a chalazion. It's kind of like a sty, but it's more solid. So I actually have to go to an eye doctor tomorrow, and they may have to, like, cut it out. So, exciting. Um, I'm nervous about that, but I really want this thing to be gone from my eyeballs, so I'm not caring as much. Um, of course, if they have to numb it, that'll scare me, because needle close to your eye? What? But anything to get this darn thing off my eye, because I hate how it looks, I hate how it feels, and just, no. Um... Mentally, like, anxiety was pretty high tonight. Like, um, over dinner, I nearly burnt something, so I was just like, <laughs> and then anxiety was just staying up the rest of the day. So now I'm just calming down, watching some YouTube, having myself a good time. I was cuddling with the boys, but they're downstairs now, so good job, guys. But yeah, now I'm just gonna continue to watch this documentary that I found on YouTube, and I'll check back in with you guys later. Hey, guys! There's the Riddler! Doesn't he look, he wants to be drawn like one of your French poodles. Isn't that exciting? And there's the Emeril. Look at him and his long legs. You're like a baby giraffe. And then Sassy, I have no idea where she went off to. She's probably downstairs somewhere. But she'll come back. So, I have just gotten a shower. Which, for those of you who don't have tattoos... Taking a shower with a brand new tattoo is actually very difficult because you can't have the water directly on your tattoo. Is if you can keep your like keep the area out of water as much as possible, um, or just let it indirectly fall. You can't take a hot shower because that will open your pores and that will cause the ink to come out. Um, usually, I'll take a warm shower and like stick out whatever body part. Um, and then, of course, at the end, you need to put cold water on your tattoo to close the pores up. And then, of course, um, do the your aftercare stuff, which for me is washing it with scentless, sh with scentless soap. I'm using scentless body wash. Because if there's scent, it's going to irritate your skin so bad. I've not had this experience, but I've heard that through researching it. Um, and then I'll also apply Aquaphor, which helps to moisturize your skin, which is very important. And it also helps protect against any germs or anything like that so yeah things like that um i will say out of my three tattoos the one that was hardest to deal with with a shower was the one that's on my right thigh and i'll post a picture of what that looks like here um just because it's in close proximity to the rest of my body so like water was still going to fall directly on it my biggest thing was trying to keep soap off of it but like my wrist and my ankle, they're pretty much I could just shove them out somewhere and just go for it. Um, and if you guys don't already know, so even though you know a tattoo looks like a cool picture on your skin, it is an open wound. <laughs> it's a bunch of tiny needle holes. So treat it like an open wound. And it also heals like a sunburn. Your skin has to peel weird. I'll show you guys that whenever it starts peeling. It won't for the next few days. Um, tattoos usually take up to two weeks for healing. I know my thigh tattoo took ten days. My wrist took all of two weeks. So we'll see what my ankle does. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's all my spiel about tattoos. Isn't that fun? So now I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed while I scratch the back of my head because it's itchy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Hooray! Question of the day is, do you guys have any questions about tattoos? Because why not? Tattoos are a fun and interesting subject. Put your questions down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Riddler. In your belly. Good night, Demarelle. In your long giraffe legs. See you in the morning.